Okay, so I'm recording. So in engine, a uh, 200 gram uh, piston oscillates in a simple harmonic motion with displacement varying uh, according to you know this equation. So this is displacement time equation. Uh, okay, as you can see here, uh, it is a displacement with a function of time. Yeah, time is over here. So this is a uh, displacement versus time equation. Yeah, and uh, where displacement is in meter, uh, the unit is very important. Yeah, meter displacement in meter, time in second. So all in SI unit lah. All they are in SI unit. Okay, meter and second. So no need to change. Now we want to find expression for velocity as a function of time. Uh, velocity time equation. So uh, how? Yeah, how are we going to find this equation? So let's do it. Yeah, velocity against time. Velocity against time. Yeah. So velocity against time. So uh, we already changed this cos to sine. Okay, then uh, we can actually just use the you know the formula given. Uh, the formula given is what? Okay, let's write down first. Let's write down uh, the equation given. So it is a uh, five sine uh, two t. Okay. Uh, so and then where uh, y in meter. Uh, t in second. Okay. Uh, so we have write, written down. So and then uh, now we want to find velocity equation. So velocity equation. Uh, okay. Wait for wait first. So we compare this uh, equation to the general formula of uh, displacement. What is it? Still remember? Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, see that displacement equation is. A sine omega t, yeah. Y equal to a sine omega t. So compare that, yeah. A sine omega t. Uh, we just do comparison. That's it, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so y equal to a sine omega t. Okay, our syllabus is using sine. Uh, we're using sine for displacement, not using cos. So we, we stick to sine, yeah. Uh, uh, no question will come up for using cos in the exam, yeah. So you don't have to be afraid. No, no question will come up uh, using cos for displacement, yeah, or using sine because our syllabus already say is using sine. Okay, so uh, we once we compare, okay, we can see from here, you know, we can see from here. Uh, what is our amplitude? Huh? What is our amplitude? Five meters. Five meter. You need to say the unit also, ah. Uh? Uh, sometimes it's cm, you know. Sometimes it's cm. So this one is in meter, five meter, and then omega is uh two lah. Uh, this one unit is two per second. Actually, two radian per second. But uh, radian you can, you know, no need to write radian. Just write per second. So because time in second, so uh, omega also in per second. Okay, so you got it, and then now you can. Uh, what's the formula for velocity? You know? now we want to find velocity time equation. Yeah, velocity time, velocity time equation. So how? Question uh, B. Eh, question A lah. Question A. So so we want to find velocity. Yeah, you. This is the uh, displacement time. So now I want the velocity time equation. Okay, velocity time equation. What's the general formula again? Look, look again at the general velocity time is a omega cos omega t. Uh, okay, velocity is a omega cos omega t. This formula will be given in the the question sheet. Yeah, will be the given in the question sheet later on. Yeah, actually no need to memorize, but memorize is better lah. Yeah, so a omega cos omega t. So um, all right. So v equal to a omega cos sine omega t ah uh, okay so now you just put in the a and omega very simple yeah very simple ah uh, so uh, uh v is uh, you know a a is what five and then omega is uh, two uh, and then uh, cosine uh two t uh, that's it uh, so and then what else you can put so v equal to 
uh, 10 uh, cosine 2t. Ah, that's it. And then uh, where you can write where uh, v in uh, what's the unit because you are using meter, right? Uh, so this one is meter per second, lah. And uh, time in second. Uh, that's the equation. You must write the unit also. Unit also. Okay. Uh, that's it. The velocity equation. Velocity time equation. Okay. Next is uh, want to sketch a graph velocity against time for the first complete cycle starting from zero second. So okay, what's the graph? Velocity against time graph. So how to draw the graph? So let's let's draw the graph. You know. Um. Velocity against time. So question B. Okay, I draw it over. Ah, uh, I just uh velocity time, isn't it? Velocity against time graph. So uh, I have the equation here. Velocity time. Okay. Uh, so let's draw it. Some more. Okay, that will be good. So now, uh, velocity time. So um. Velocity, which is uh, you need to write the unit also meter per second, uh, not just v. Uh, don't just label v only. You need to label the unit also. Time in second. Okay. Now it's a cosine. It's a cosine graph. So draw a cosine graph. And then you need to draw around uh, uh around two wavelength. Uh, around two wavelength. Uh, wavelength, yeah, around two wavelength. So draw two waves. So how how we going or, or you can say two period lah two period uh yeah so how cosine graph how is it look like so uh maybe, okay so from uh you know zero okay so cosine so maybe if you if you find difficulty to draw nicely right like this uh like you know <laughs> like nicely you can plot first you know. To help you, to help you, okay. You can plot. Okay, this is a uh, ten lah maximum, right? Uh, actually, this is v maximum. Yeah, v uh v maximum, which is uh, a omega, which is ten. Understand? Uh, and then here we have uh you know negative ten. Uh, this is negative negative a omega. Okay, so I uh, plot first. Okay, uh, it's a cosine. Okay, then then here you plot first. Okay, uh, this is a uh, you plot lah. You plot. Uh, maybe uh, you know this is a uh, zero. This is zero ninety degree hundred eighty or one. How how you gonna do it? Ninety hundred eighty. Uh, two hundred seventy three hundred sixty. Uh, three hundred sixty. This is one period, right? And then again, uh. Uh, 90, 180, 270, uh, another period. So this is two period, right? Correct or not? Uh, so then how are you going to draw? Cosine graph, cosine graph. You then you plot like this, plot, plot, uh, plot like this. You see? No need to trouble yourself. You are not a, a good uh, draw, uh, drawing artist. Never mind. Use plot. Okay, so uh, then okay, we can finish drawing. So uh, then we just connect the dots. If you do things nicely or very neat, no problem. See, got a perfect graph. I'm not an artist. Then uh, you are uh, here uh, again. So this is a negative a omega. Uh, and then one more this period you need to give value not just period like that huh? so this period is what value you should label the value you should find out the value also so you find out the val period from uh, from the omega lah. Uh, yeah because um, we know the omega is uh, 2 2 per second so this one will be equal to 2 pi over period is it okay omega is 2 pi over period or or it can also equal to 2 pi frequency. Uh, you can either find frequency or can find period from omega. Uh, you can find. So right now I want period yeah, because I want to label at the graph. You cannot leave it as like period like that. Huh? You need to give values. Huh? So okay, what is the value? 
So uh, period will be equal to, so how to do? So it's a uh, 2 pi over 2, isn't it? Correct or not? Period, uh, 2 pi go to the other side, so it becomes 2 pi divided by 2, right? Correct or not? Mathematics only yes. lah. Math uh, so it's pi. So it's pi second. Okay? Period is uh, pi second. So we got it. Period is pi second. Okay? So, um, so you can uh, put this as a, uh, okay, put this as pi. And this is a uh, 2 pi. 2 period, so 2 pi lah. Uh, so this is actually, this, uh, this is actually, uh, you know, uh, this is actually a period. This is actually a, a uh, 2 period, understand? Uh, then, that's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, okay. Uh, so, you got a... Uh, very good lah. Yeah, very good. So, you got your graph. Okay. Uh, nicely done. Um, so, this question B. Now, question C. Let's look at question C. So, what is the maximum acceleration of the system? Maximum acceleration. So maximum acceleration, uh, remember what you learn? Just look from your uh, equations. Maximum acceleration is, you see, A max, A omega square, A omega square. Displacement maximum is amplitude. Velocity maximum is A omega. A maximum is A omega square. Uh, yeah, no omega, one omega, two omega. Okay, see that? So A maximum is, uh, again, what is A maximum? Huh? What is A maximum? Omega square A. Ah, A omega square. So, okay. So, let's so see. So, A maximum is A omega square. Very simple to remember. So, A, what is A? Uh, okay, meter, SI unit. Omega, also second. So, all SI unit, no need to change anything. Okay, if this one is in uh, centimeter, then this one becomes centimeter per second square. Yeah, so be careful with the unit. You must follow the unit. So this is 5 meter. Uh, amplitude is 5 meter. Omega is 2 per second. Okay, square. So what do you get? Uh, 2 square, 4, 4 times 5 is 20, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's meter per second square. Okay, that's the maximum acceleration. What's the total energy then? What's the total energy? Question D. Uh, also use a formula. So this chapter actually uh, simple only. You just use formula given. Yeah, this formula will be given in the exact the question sheet. But it's good if you can remember, memorize the formula, then you can no need to refer all, all the time the question sheet. You can remember the formula, then you do actually do the question faster. So total energy is uh, half m omega square amplitude square. Uh, so that's it. Yeah. So just use that formula. So uh, total energy is half m omega square amplitude square okay so what is the mass what is the mass mass is a uh, okay so be careful this one unit is in uh, you see in gram so you need to change to kilogram understand to si unit uh, so 200 gram means 200 gram means 0. 0.2 kilogram yeah 0. 0.2 kilogram so change it to a uh, kilogram Next is um, omega. What's your omega? 2. Okay. 2. Uh, and then amplitude. What's your amplitude? Amplitude is uh, 5. 5. 5. Okay. Correct. So, uh, what's the answer? So... Okay. Uh, point 0.5 uh, multiply uh, point 0.2 huh? you got it ready is it yeah. 10 that's correct I got the same answer yeah 10 Joe thank you
So 10 joule, the answer is next, the total energy. Okay, so um, important thing is the graph, uh, remember, is you, you need to draw at least two wavelengths, not just one wavelength until here. Uh, you need to draw two. Uh, the requirement for draw, drawing this kind of graph, you need to draw two wavelengths. Then only we give uh, full marks. Okay, you need to draw two wavelengths. Or three, you want to draw three also can. But two is enough. Okay. So that's it for this question. Okay. Uh, so that's all for these questions.